beautiful souls. First things first, I need to clean up this mess. And I normally keep this drawer open because that's where I keep the laces that I mostly use and trims and, and, and ribbon. So I need to organize that and close it back up. So this is where it is now. And it's going to get a clean up. It doesn't really take me that long because everything has its place. I have a ways to go. You will also see that I created a mold using the LOL stamps. So you will see a little bit of that process here. I'll be tackling this side today. It's actually the next day. I did do this one yesterday, but since I started late and I wanted to get other things done, so I will be doing this today. Um, as much as I can, because some of these things I am using on my current projects. This box will stay here. This is stuff that I'm giving to my daughter who lives across the hall from me. And she told me to hold it here because she has no space to put it since I keep giving her stuff. <laughs> um, I moved here. I was in a shelter for five years and I ended up moving here in 2008. And when I moved here, I really did, I, I didn't have much of anything. So when I finally got my hand on some furniture, um, I kind of OD'd, so I kept giving her stuff <laughs> just to purge because I had way too much. I really overdid it. So I went ahead and just started giving her stuff, and she's telling me now that because I gave her too much stuff, she has no place to put these lamps. Wow. <laughs> I will also be tackling here. I mean, it's really not that bad. I can't really make too much of a mess here because this is also my living room so I have a space that I dedicate for my craft um, studio my crafting area and then on the behind me is my living room um, so I don't really let it get too too much out of control because you know I don't want to have to do a big cleanup in one day if I'm having company or something, which I don't really have too much of anyway, um, even before the pandemic. So I am done in this section here. I'm done. My Yorkie sleeps under there. Those are her toys. Ebony, you going to say hi? Say hi. Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> Say hello, crafty people. And now I can continue my crafting in peace without all the clutter. This is a gifted stamp I won in a giveaway from Sabrina, who is the S Factor Studio on YouTube who also happens to be my friend. I created molds using a liquid silicone. These are inspired by Sabrina also when she sent me some of the clay doll. Although I am an adult and a first time grandma, soon to welcome a second grandbaby, another girl, I am a big kid at heart. I love dolls and have collected them over the years. I don't play with them. But happy to say I will be playing with my granddaughters. My favorites are the retro Barbies and mini porcelain dolls. I absolutely love the 112 scale dolls and miniatures. Okay, so the clay doll process is a doll charm kit I'm putting together. And I made 104. I will also paint them and embellish them. The kit will include other handmade dolls and ready-made dolls. So this is to pay homage for the love of dolls and for those of you who are in the same club. Here's to the love of dolls.
all I gotta do is package them and they do have a hole for the eye screw pin and I will include that with each set you saw me put the glitter on well there's the glitter and there's the shine from the UV resin front and back um, there's the green They're pretty the blue and the lavender excited about this one. This is an SVG file I've created for any of your electronic cutting machines. I personally only use the Brother Scan and Cut to create all 3D files. As you can see, it is a house gift box. It's not available yet and this is a short process of me embellishing it. The next two videos will be the tutorial and the project share so stay tuned for that as well this design with a flat roof is actually an option the original design has a gable roof i personally like them both and either one will suit what you'll be putting inside and for those of you who do not have an electronic cutting machine this will also be available in a pdf file to print so all you need is a printer or you can take the downloaded file to a stationary store with your own cardstock. That's the other option. This is the very first iPad I've ever owned. First ever Apple product I've ever owned. This was gifted, gifted to me by my daughter and my son-in-law for uh, this past holiday. And this is a 2020 11 inch um, iPad Pro. And this was a learning curve for me because like I said, I've, I have not ever used any kind of Apple products ever until now. And also, this program here is also a learning curve for me, Procreate. So, this is another set of dolls that I will be adding to the Doll Charm Kit. And this is one of them. She's adorable. These are originally felt out patterns I have created years ago and I decided to sketch them and turn them into art dolls. So here's another one. I have to clean her up to see. Here's another one. And she doesn't have any coloring in her clothes. None of them will have coloring in certain areas of their clothing because their clothing will be digital paper that I have created. 
and at some point in the future these dolls will have their own series of designer paper along with elements I will turn these into sticker sheets as well but that's going to be in the future because I have other stuff that I started that I want to actually complete so that will be in the future I will be creating paper kits for paper crafters I wasn't going to show the process of me doing this on camera but since I am working on healing I will go ahead and share some of the sketch process because the point here is to come as you are I'm going to keep just her hair I will be editing the bowls I will be cleaning that up and refining it and since you know I haven't sketched in in, in quite some years that is why I you know felt a little bit insecure vulnerable if you will to doing this here on camera so to make it easier for myself I'm gonna keep the hair I will edit everything else I will be using principal shrink plastic to transform the art dolls into charms by the way this is the first vlog vlogish vlog it's inspired and dedicated to the first four videos I've binged watched from young and talented entrepreneurs and in no particular order their names are Anusha Saeed, Radia Raman, Cheyenne Barton, and Paloma the Peach. However, there are other entrepreneur artists I'm also inspired by and in no particular order their names are Ipenas Illustrator, Fran Manessas, Catnip, Made by Maylin, Apple Cheeks, and the list goes on. So I made a conscious decision to change what I do on my channel because of all your courage. And I am warmly thankful to you all. As I said earlier, I was living in a shelter for about five years with my children. My boys were very young at the time and I also had a preteen daughter who is my oldest and my only girl. I have four children all together. I've been a single mom for a very long time which created part of my anxieties and insecurity. They are all adults now. My youngest made me a first time grandma and whoever calls me a grandma is going to get beat up. Seriously. Not serious, but seriously. <laughs> I'm still deciding on what I want to be called regarding my grandchildren, what, what I want them to call me. So I'm still working on that. My oldest son, however, is making me a second time grandma of a baby girl that makes her the second girl i've always wanted all girls so i'm being blessed as a grandma with gr grandma grandma with all girls <laughs> the truth is every life story has a beginning and my experience started with a predisposition to anxiety the moment i was conceived i have been living with so much insecurities and fear and it does come with the territory. It has taken a toll on how I've been living my life thus far. Needless to say that I've never resorted to drug abuse or alcohol, which is not a judgment by the way. However, I have been affected in other ways, so I am coming to you as I am. This is not a pity party, and I don't want you to feel sorry for me because I am working on healing. For those who are also struggling, keep in mind that the most talented, gifted people and highly intelligent people are the most who procrastinate and have some form of anxiety. So you are not alone.
this concludes this vloggish vlog. Yeah, I like saying that. <laughs> and by the way, if it sounded like I was reading, it's because I was for most of it. Sometimes it's challenging for me to arrange my thoughts and communicate that verbally. So I'll start with the ending and then end it with the beginning. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my world. So beautiful souls, let's share, be fair, be filled with love and love one another. Take good care, everybody.